I get so many comments on my videos from you guys about my FPS in game. Now while the answer might just be that I just straight up have a good PC to make videos with, today I decided I was going to go ahead and make a guide for all you people out there with bad PCs on how to get more FPS in Minecraft 1.8.9. If you found this useful, make sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing if you're new. If we get 2000 likes on this video, I'll consider doing a part two of this with some more methods on how you can get better FPS. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead to my desktop and I'll show you some ways on how you can boost your FPS. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do if you wanna go about boosting your FPS is go into the description and download my FPS boost pack. So we're going to go through all of these things in this pack. Hopefully this should help you guys with bad PCs get more FPS. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our GPU settings. Now you need to have an Nvidia graphics card to do this. Um, just right click on your desktop, go to Nvidia control panel. And then click on the first option here, adjust image settings with preview. Then enable this here and drag the slider all the way to the left. So basically we're putting our graphics settings down which favors performance over quality or looking nice basically. And then you just need to hit apply and uh, that's the first thing done. Next up, we need to go to our control panel here. We need to find hardware and sound. We need to go to power options and we need to set our power plan to high performance. By default, it's unbalanced. Make sure it's on high performance or you might even have ultimate performance like I've got here. So I'm gonna put mine on that. Next thing is changing your video settings. Now we'll go into Minecraft and show you every single video setting and what to set it to, but there's a much quicker option. Basically what you can do is go into my FPS boost pack, go to video settings and drag these two text files into your .minecraft folder. So if you know how to get into your .minecraft folder, it's just windows key R, type in percent, app data percent, like that. Go into your .minecraft and simply just drag these two text files into your .minecraft and hit replace. You might wanna make a copy of your options TXT files just as a bit of a backup before you do that. But yeah, if you do that, this basically makes all of your settings the lowest they can be and favors performance over quality. And yeah, this should definitely help with getting more FPS in Minecraft. While we're in our .minecraft folder, we can go ahead to the resource packs and drag in this RKY4 ATEX by Frine. This is an 8x8x texture pack, which might help you guys out with bad PCs get more FPS. You can go for any 8x pack, but I personally quite like this one by Frine. Frine makes really good 8x packs. They're really nicely shaded, even though it hasn't got a lot of pixels to work with. But yeah, just drag in that 8x pack into your resource packs folder. But yeah, if you're really struggling with your FPS, an 8x pack might do the job. Next thing we need to do is we need to install a program called CCleaner. I've left the setup in the FPS boost pack, but I've just got it on my desktop right here. It's a really useful program for just cleaning unnecessary and unwanted like temporary files from your computer. And it just gives your PC a good cleanup and make sure it's all running smoothly. So once you're in here, you just wanna to go to custom clean and just press run cleaner. Press continue. As you can see on the left here, these are all the things that it's gonna clear out, like it's gonna empty recycle bin, temporary files, internet browser cookies, all that good stuff. It's all cleaned. I've just saved 2000 megabytes, which is pretty good. And yeah, it just helps your PC run smoothly and it's a good thing to do every once in a while. Next thing we can do is just go to tools. And as you can see, all of your apps should come up here. And the next thing is basically just uninstall apps that you're not using anymore. So if you just go through here, like, what is that? Have I got a virus or something? What is that? Just select an application you don't use anymore or something you don't recognize, and then just press uninstall, job done. Another thing we can do is we can de-bloat Windows 10. So by default, Windows 10 has loads of stuff that you're never ever gonna use. It's got Candy Crush pre-installed and basically all PCs. It's got so many things on Windows that will slow your computer down. It's really, really bad for bloatware and adverts. So what you can do is you can download Windows 10 Debloater. I've left this in the FPS Boost Pack as well. You just need to extract it with WinRAR or something. Just press Extract To and then it should become a folder like this. Then just open it up and then what you need to do is just right click on Windows 10 Debloater GUI. Right click on it and click run with PowerShell. As you can see, this will now come up. You don't need to worry about this little PowerShell box. You can just minimize that. So you just simply just press remove all bloatware and it'll remove all the Candy Crush and all the stuff you'll never use on your Windows computer, all pre-installed apps. Like if you've got a laptop, 
laptop manufacturers are very well known for having a load of stuff that you're not going to use on your computer and yeah you can also enable and disable katana you can enable a cool dark theme you can remove all bloatware from the registry so if you do a windows update all your bloatware won't come back so that's really useful you can also uninstall OneDrive if you don't use that. You can unpin all the tiles for your start menu. This is a really, really good program. Every time I fresh install Windows 10 on a computer now, I'm always doing this, just getting rid of all the bloatware and all the telemetry, phoning home, spying applications that are on Windows 10 by default. Now, I don't personally do this because I have a special version of Windows called Windows 10 LTSC. If I just right click on my this PC here, as you can see, I've got Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. Now, what that is, is basically a version of Windows 10 that's for businesses and banks and corporations and stuff. And it doesn't actually have any bloatware on it. If I go ahead and press my start menu here, as you can see, I've basically got nothing, no applications at all. It's probably my favorite version of Windows 10. See, all these applications are apps that I've installed myself. And it only comes with a few Microsoft applications. If I just go down here, we've got Windows Accessories. It doesn't even come with Microsoft Edge. You've literally got the old version of Explorer. You've got a few kind of Windows-y apps. You've got administrative tools, a few stuff there. You've got Windows PowerShell. You've got systems, so File Explorer, Control Panel, this PC, all that good stuff. So yeah, I'd highly recommend Windows LTSC. It's a really good version of Windows. Probably my favorite version of Windows. It's literally like Windows 7 in terms of pre-installed bloatware. So yeah, if you're tech savvy and you know how to install Windows, put it on a USB, all that stuff, make sure you back up your files if you are upgrading to this version of Windows. But yeah, highly recommend this. And I'll leave the subreddit in the description down below. There's loads of people that use Windows LTSC because they don't like using the main versions of Windows. So you can just scroll through that subreddit, ask any questions, they'll help you out. Next thing to do is install another web browser. Now by default, I'm sure a lot of you guys are using Google Chrome or a Chromium based browser. Now they are notorious for hogging RAM. Like I don't have Chrome installed right now, but I guarantee like in my task manager, it would be taking up a lot of my RAM right now. And if you've got a bad PC, it's not really something you want. So what I'd recommend is installing Firefox. A lot of you guys meme me for using Firefox, saying Firefox sucks, but honestly, it's probably the best browser for me. I like it because it's private, so all the cookies and third-party web trackers and all that stuff is just completely stopped with Firefox. It does take a little bit of setting up, but honestly, this compared to Chrome is just so much better. So if I just launch up my Firefox right here and then just go into my task manager, as you can see, it's not even taking up that much of my CPU, not really that much of my memory. Now, I know this isn't a very good test because I'm not actually doing anything on my Firefox, but if it's just running in the background, it's pretty good. It doesn't hog your memory. And yeah, I just really recommend you guys switch to it if you're using Chrome like I was before. The next thing to do is something in your Minecraft launcher. So if we just go on that, if we go to installations here, I'm just going to go on my Nitro Client installation. Now, what you can do is just click on more options and you can mess around with these JVM arguments. I've put a little text file here. Uh, this will be in the FPS boost pack. So if you've got more than three gigabytes of RAM, copy and paste all of this code here. Make sure you copy and paste all of it. And you want to put that into this JVM arguments box right here. So this allocates more RAM to your Minecraft and does a lot of really good things that will help with your FPS. If you don't know how much RAM you've got, just go into your Windows Explorer, right click on this PC, go to properties, and you can see how much RAM you've got here. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is more than three. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be using this script. But if you've got less than three, just copy and paste this, bang it in that box and job done. If you're playing on Crack Minecraft, you can do the same in T-Launcher. So if we could just go into T-Launcher here, go to settings, you can add the JVM arguments into this box here that says arguments and just press save. And that should help out your FPS if you play on crack. Another thing you can do to boost your FPS is download a PvP client. There's plenty out there to choose from. You can go across my channel and find all the clients I've made videos on. So I've got one here, PvP Lounge. You can use Luna, Bad Lion, whatever you want to use, whatever you find gives you the best FPS, then use that. I'm sure everyone's using a PvP client right now of some kind. But yeah, PvP clients have a lot of FPS boosting settings in there which should help you out if you've got a bad PC. So definitely go check out PVP clients if you haven't already. And yeah, on to the next thing. 
So the last thing you can do to boost your FPS is you can set your task manager priority. So I've got Minecraft open right now. But if I go ahead and go to my task manager, if I go and find Java here, right click on it, click on go to details, then right click on it again, set priority and set it to high. Click on change priority and this should change the priority of your CPU and your RAM and it should allocate it all to your Minecraft and not to anything else. Be careful doing this but personally I found this to be quite useful if I'm playing on a computer that doesn't get the best FPS. So yeah that should be everything and as you can see on the right there this is my FPS after doing all of the things that I said to do in this video. Really really high FPS now that we've got. Probably could be even more if I wasn't recording. But yeah, that is how good my FPS is now thanks to all of the things that I've said to do in this video. If you want to see a part 2 of this video, make sure to smash that like button and I'll definitely do a part 2. I'm also thinking of doing one for bad PCs, like I'll go ahead and I'll go on my laptop and I'll do a lot of things on there to try and get the FPS going good, which might emulate what you guys are trying to do with your computers out there. Because not everyone has a PC like mine. I'm very fortunate to be able to have a gaming PC to record and make videos for you guys on. But yeah, that's going to be the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed and found this useful. Let me know if it helped in the comments section down below. And yeah, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Peace.